Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be fixing up this snowblower that I totally broke. So tag along and see how it goes. Got the old, uh, got the old Ferguson tractor fired up. She's a bit ornery, so letting her warm up a bit. And because uh, I got to go pick this thing up and get it inside the shop. So let me just show you here. So this is a front mount snowblower for my Kubota tractor, which is also over there. I'll pull it out in a minute. And I did a serious number on this shaft. Uh, my Christmas lights were across the lawn through a snowbank and I was trying to push the snowbank back, forgot about the extension cord and uh, wrapped it all around there. And because someone has put regular bolts in instead of shear pins, it didn't break. It just ripped the whole thing apart. So that shaft is majorly bent. This whole gearbox piece is quite expensive to buy. Um, and I don't think I can buy just that shaft. So we're gonna try and see if we can straighten this out and get it fixed up. So let's go and get that in the shop. All right, so I just threw that front clip back on there quick. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna save this car or at least really attempt to. So you will see this car coming up on the channel, maybe not till later, uh, later on down the road, obviously, cause I got more stuff, but I think I'm gonna try and save this. So my heater is on, hopefully you can't hear that in the background. This is my, this is a tube heater, that's how I heat my shop. You've heard me maybe say it a couple times before. This thing needs new tubes and trying to find someone to replace these tubes or get me the tubes so I can fix them um, is a bit of a challenge. So I don't really want to get rid of the radiant heat because it's absolutely awesome. It only runs a little bit um, and heats up, you know, the concrete, everything that surrounds you in the shop. Um, so it's really, really nice heat. The problem with it is where it's located in the shop here, it's in the way of pretty much my, my hoist going up and down. Um, so I can't put this car up in the air when the, heaters running because those pipes are so hot and I'll melt the paint or the roof or whatever on that. Um, the same thing was when I had the car and the lift over here, it was the same thing there. It was actually even worse because that's the hottest point of it there. So um, anyways, I, I would love to move it, but I don't know where to move it to because if I move it in the middle, then I'm in the way of my chain fall here. So anyways, that's what heats my shop and uh, great heat, but needs to be fixed up. Oh, if you know of anything that I can seal these up with or know where I can get these tubes or whatever up here in Canada or whatever, so let me know, um, comment down below and uh, let me know what, uh, what your thoughts are. 
So this is my Kubota tractor. It's a GR 2010. We got this when we moved to the property. Um, it's hydrostatic, so it's easy to drive. Um, the thought was if Joanne needs to clear snow and blow snow out, um, it'll be really easy for her to do that. Otherwise I would have just got a big tractor like I've got outside and put a blower on it. Um, but I dropped a skid on it and smashed the lights out of it. I don't know if I'll get that fixed up. I may try to pull that off and fix that up. Um, I've got to take the mower deck off because that has to come off to put the snow blower on. Obviously you wouldn't have that on if you're blowing snow anyways. So I got to take the mower deck off and I've got to fix this thing up, fix up this shaft. So let's get into the bigger deal of trying to fix up this shaft here. So I'm going to try and strip all this apart and uh, see what happens. Alright, so you can see I struggled a bit there trying to get this whole thing off and I think this is going to be a long shot. I don't know that I'm going to be able to straighten this shaft up, um, but it's worth a shot. I mean, I think when I've looked up the parts for this, I think you end up having to buy that whole assembly. And that's pretty much the whole snowblower. I mean, it's almost as much as a whole snowblower to buy that assembly. So. That's why I want to try and straighten this shaft as best I can. Um, I'm going to try to use my press maybe. Um, in my vise here I've got jaws to hold round pipe. Um, so I'm going to try and use these to my advantage and maybe, I don't know, heat it up or something and just try to bend this back straight and straight-ish. straight, straight -ish. Um, But what i got to do is try and get this bearing off. Um, so that I can slide this auger off of there. And obviously you saw this little keyway it was giving me a hard time there. So I can't, uh, I'm gonna try heating this thing up. So hopefully it expands enough and I can just pop that end off. So that's what we're gonna try doing now.
All right, it's off. Holy moly. That was a struggle. Good. I want to cool this off before I go and pull this. This has a seal in here, and I don't want to totally cook that seal. Yeah, I could get it on. Well, at least time to cool it down a bit. It's warm. Okay, that should be all right. Try to get this off. Oh, why won't this come off now? What's going on now? Mm. There we go. Out. So. It appears both sides are bent because that bearing didn't want to slide off. Now it could be stuck on a ridge there, but I'm thinking that this whole shaft is bent. You stay right there. Let me just see what happens when I push on this. I think I've got it down a bit. I need to come up. Okay. So now let's try the press. I have no idea if this can work because both sides are actually supported the same way. It's probably going to bugger this gear up. I'm going to do that. So I've got this pretty well straightened out. The uh, press didn't work, obviously. And uh, so basically, all I did was took the shaft and used the fact that. It is a solid shaft and it won't bend anywhere really other than where I'm heating it. Clamped it at the very end in the vise. Um, FYI, these vices suck. I really hate the fact that it's got all these swivels, the head swivels and this swivels. It's really not good for doing this kind of stuff. Um, at some point I want to invest in a better vise um, and a better setup that I can, something that I can really reef on. Um, there's always that time where you need to really pull and struggle with something. So I'm going to try and figure out how I can, how I can do that and mount it to the wall or something, or I don't know, put a post in the ground, who knows. Um, so I basically just bent it um, and marked, I don't know if you can see or not, but I basically marked out where it was bent. Um, I scribed it on there and basically did that by rotating it back and forth, feeling for the high spot. And so now when I rotate this, there is a little bit of a high spot right around there where it was originally bent, but I think that this might work. Um, so we'll see. Obviously I have to wait till all this stuff cools down. I've pretty well smoked this bearing. Um, so I should probably, ow, that's hot. Should probably get a new bearing for there. Um, this one on this side is okay. I can't seem to get it off and man, oh man, all that stuff's hot and I keep touching it. Um, so once this all cools down, I'll try and getting it back together anyways. Um, what I'm going to try and do is I'll just lube up this bearing. Um, I just want to try it and if I have to take it all back apart, which I probably will again, because that bearing is smoked and obviously I wrecked the bearing for the end. Right. Well, let's see what happens, uh, because I'd like to get this at least back together and test it out to see if this is 
all going to work. Um, but at least it's definitely straighter than it was. And uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, well that's gonna do it for this video. Um, obviously I have to go pick up some bearings um, and uh, some other stuff hopefully from the Kubota dealership if I can get it. And then we'll slam this thing back together and see if it works. Have to get some shear pins for it too, of course, because you know, bolts are no good. So hey, thanks again to all my subscribers, everyone that watches these videos. Like, comment on it, I appreciate all of you. Um, hey, comment on this one and tell me what you would have done differently there to try and straighten that shaft. Um, am I crazy for thinking that it's gonna work? I don't know, tell me. Um, but I think it might work and we'll find out soon. So hey, thanks very much. Make sure to subscribe, smash that like, comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Whew. Smoky in here.